Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Africa Harrigan and today I am filming a video honoring a video request from one of my beautiful subscribers, Vivi. Absolutely love Vivi. Hi Vivi, thank you so much for your video request to film a five-year update on the Louis Vuitton Terren GM. Yes, this is where it all started. This purse started my YouTube channel when I did my very first unboxing five years ago when I purchased this bag. So technically my very first Louis Vuitton purchase and to date I absolutely love her and I still use this purse and I still take her out. I have filmed so many videos on the Louis Vuitton Terrain GM. I mean, I packed her for the gym. I've done comparison videos with her. I've used her for work. I've used her for travel. And it's I can link all of the videos down below for you guys so that if you have missed any of those, that you two can go ahead and check those out. Okay, so the Louis Vuitton Terrain GM to date remains one of my most favorite bags. Of course, I went on to um, you know acquire a much <laughs> larger collection of Louis Vuitton purses, but it's just something about the Louis Vuitton Terrain GM that really and truly just holds a really special place in my heart. And I honestly think it just has to do with the fact that it's my very first purchase. <laughs> okay, so let's go over the beautiful aesthetics of this bag. Of course, we have the Vachetta handles with the little decorative um, tab there also another decorative tab here and some buttons there and of course there as well one of the unique features of this first are the pleats it's pleated in the front and i really like how that looks it just has a really sophisticated look to it and then of course matching on the back side of it with the fashetta tabs and the gold embellishments and the fashetta handles as well so underneath this bag, you know, does not have feet. It's like a squishy, wishy, adorable yet structured bag. And it's still kept its structure over the years. It's not um, as firm and as heavily structured as the Louis Vuitton Alma, but it's definitely um, structured in a sense that it, it holds its shape to a, a very good extent. Okay, so the sides of it, of course, you know, we have the little Vachetta trimmings right there you can go ahead and take a much closer look at the fachetta trim with a tab right there and of course the gold embellishments again right there so here we are with the hook as well with the gold embellishments and it's basically very similar on the other side of the bag if you look right here where you have the fachetta strip the tab and then of course a little decorative little something there and of course the gold embellishments with the d-ring as you know that this bag does close it has for the zipper is not like my melee where they have these big beautiful um earring zip um, zipper pulls i did feature that i can go ahead and link that video down below for you as well if you've missed it but this one has a nice clean slate zipper but it doesn't have a golden or brass tab what it has is of a shadow tab i would say that if i had to change the overall construction of the bag that will probably be the only thing that i would would change like i would prefer a zipper pull that's brass versus vachetta because it's it, it's inevitable it is going to get dirty it's going to start to patina really quickly from the oils on your hands you have to use your purse you have to get into your purse and, and the zipper pull is really and truly the only way to do that so it's like you're constantly okay opening closing and then you have to think about the oils on your hands and stuff like that so that would probably be the only thing that i would change about the louis vuitton Terrain gm but hey it's still beautiful and i still love her so much okay so the wear and tear let's get into the wear and tear update so pretty much this is what she looks like. She does not have anything inside of her right now. So it's a little bit of a V-shaped thing right here. However, when she's full and she doesn't have the V um, thing right there, I don't know if you can see it where it's like creased a little bit, but she's empty. But if I were to stuff her or put items inside of her, it, it somehow just <laughs> pans out and goes away. 
but right now she's empty. You can see that she has this beautiful bottom that's really firm under here. So when I put items, when I place items inside of this purse, it does not slouch like a, a, a speedy. It doesn't slouch. It doesn't, or, or, or even a never full. You know how sometimes without the, the bottom, um, you know, the base bottom that you can purchase separately, it, when you put items in, it can slouch. It doesn't slouch. This one stays perfectly flat. And that I love about it, even with age. Even as she's growing and aging gracefully, she's still, the bottom is still well maintained and I love that. I love the fact that the bag, it hasn't slouched in and you know, when I place items inside, it's actually still very flat and I really and truly like that a lot. Okay, so the pleating in the front, the design remained the same. It's really tightly stitched, by the way. Even if you like touch it, you can just feel how firm it is. So basically the pleating, there's no wear and tear there. Not, not too much anyway. And even when you look at the back, <laughs> my beautiful daughter in the background, uh, she obviously she's well and she's playing and she's having a great time while I'm filming. So this will probably be an integrated video with the both of us. <laughs> Okay, moving on along. Let's go with the Vachetta. The Vachetta has patinaed immensely. It really and truly has patinaed immensely. And when you look at it, you know when I first purchased the, the bag, it had, it was white. The bag was white. The Vachetta was white. And that's how all Louis Vuitton starts out. It starts out white. But, you know, with the aging and the sun and the use it starts to develop this gorgeous golden patina and in some areas it's still beautiful and you can see where there's some wear and tear on it from the oils from my hands and different things like that so let's start here with the tabs right now the tabs there is um, a little bit some some areas are a little bit darker from something else but overall the tabs have really and truly it has a nice look to it. It's golden. It still has a beautiful patina look to it, even though you can see like right here, there's a like darker patina there from something I, I don't know. And even when you look, give a closer look at the handles of the purse, I never honestly placed one of those uh, bandos or anything on it. I probably won't. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've placed bandos on her, but I just like her. I just love how she, the authentic look of the purse. And that's one of the reasons why I didn't place a bando. However, maybe in the future, I'll place a bando on the handles. I don't know. But I just love to just use the purse as is. And I just love the originality of the purse and how she's aging and growing. Okay, so the handles, there's a little bit of a darker patina here. So you'll see like right here where I hardly ever touch aged like really well. And then over here is like the same thing. It's really golden, um, trickling down into a nice golden tab. And then when you come closer to the top, it's a little bit darker. Still golden, just a little bit more darker at the top where you see where I'm, where, where I'm, I actually hold. This is the part where I hold with my hands. So it, it, it decreased, not decreased, but darkens a little bit. And the same thing with the tab in the back. It's almost like an ombre. <laughs> you know how ombre starts out really light and then it just comes dark or it'll blend into it. And this is what this kind of the handles remind me of an ombre look. So you will have like a golden look here, golden, golden, and then she's darkening when it comes to the top of the handles. You see how, and then it, it goes back to golden, 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 all the way down there. <laughs> so the handle's definitely, um, you know, it's patina and it's probably still patina and I love it. It's okay. It's, it's the originality of the bag. On the side here, this actually uh, patina is really well as well. The Vachetta strip is what I'm referring to and so is a tab. But again, these are places that I don't touch. I don't have to touch them. I don't need to touch them. So they're just going to just take its course over time without any additional oils for my hands, pretty much. And on the other side as well, it's the golden uh, patina and the tab. Okay, so we can go ahead and look at the decorative tab in the middle. 
because you can tell that this is no longer a brand new purse Watch out of the bag. Cake. Not because of the patina Mickey itself, cake. but because the Louis Vuitton that was here, it's still there, but it's like, um, it's extremely understated. Now it's not like, it's like the leather softened. So it's not the, the, the imprint is there, but it's not as strong as before. If you look at, you can still see right here where it says Louis Vuitton. Can you see it? You can see it, but bring it a little bit closer. Louis Vuitton. But you can just tell that as the, the leather softened over time, as we all know, leather will soften over time. The letters are still there. It's still there. It hasn't gone anywhere, but it's just softer. It's a lot softer. I must say, though, that um, I'm a little bit impressed with the brass because the brass looks great. It, it's, it, it doesn't look like it's tarnished, really. And um, let me show you what I'm talking about. So here are the brass buttons that has the Louis Vuitton logo. And that's, that's still bright. It's shiny. And it still looks good. And, and so there's the D-rings here that's connecting the Vachetta straps. And even in the back, you can see that the brass looks amazing. Yeah, that's beautiful. The brass right there looks really amazing. And even on the zipper bowl, the, the brass looks really, really nice. And when I turn to the side, again, it's the same thing with the side tabs. Here we have really nice um, looking brass, not tarnished too much, not really aged as much. It's a big difference to me though, with the quality of the purse and the type of brass that Louis Vuitton uses on their purses versus their SLGs sometimes. I find where sometimes the SLGs will turn a lot quicker. The brass on the SLGs will like darken and change and tarnish and you're like, we're supposed to last forever. <laughs> but, um, but you know, on the purses, they seem to put a little bit more, I don't know if they just use better quality products for the purses, for the D-rings of the purses or what, but the, the brass looks amazing for its age. Let's go to their zipper pull. Here we go with the zipper. The zipper actually looks really good. And the tab, the Vachetta tab, this is the zipper pull here. So the Vachetta tab looks great, but it, like I said, it's, it's inevitable. I have to touch it. I have to open my purse. I have to go inside of it. I can't always think oils on my hands as even though I do as much as I can, you know, but look, so she has darkened because of the constant use and the constant touching of my hands. But she's beautiful still because it's, it's the character of the bag. So honestly, I don't even think that when, if the Vachetta were to just darken completely, maybe in the next five years, I don't know, or 10 years, I don't really know how long it takes for Vachetta to completely go really dark. But I don't even think that I would send it back to the store to replace because I like it. It's, you know, it tells the story, it's the purse. And it's still beautiful, even as it ages and it changes. Nine. Just like we do, we grow, we learn, and we change, we evolve. And that's what these, the, the monogram bags with the Pachetta, they basically does the same thing. Um, okay, so we can go into the interior of the purse. Or, and pretty much this interior <laughs> is still as maroon as it was. When I first purchased her, she has not changed inside at all. Honestly, I didn't even really expect the interior to change that much because I, I don't, I, I personally don't place food in my bags at all. I don't care how, if it's in a plastic bag, I don't play games like that. I don't do it because I just feel like if something were to drip in it, then, you know, it's, it's, it takes a while to scrub stuff out and put it out to dry and it's just too much of a process. So for me personally, I don't really place food items inside, but let's go over the interior. Okay, so she has a secretarial pocket where you can place larger items in. The only item that I honestly really place there are is my phone. That's it, or maybe my headset. I don't really place too many items there at all, actually. And then on the opposite side, there are two uh, pockets there, one and two, and of course, the Louis Vuitton, the Chabotin that says Louis Vuitton Paris. Good job, And this, of course, looks beautiful because, of course, there's no need to touch it. 
So this looks really great and I love that. And then of course, it's just the interior. I have a few coins at the bottom and um, something else, I don't know. But overall, the Louis Vuitton Terrendium is truly an excellent piece. I definitely would recommend her, even with her double stitch to bottom. The bottom actually feels like there's a base shaper there and there's not one. And I love that. I do want, I would have loved some feet, but I guess the slouchiness of the bag is almost to me like a sophisticated speedy. Yes, definitely like a sophisticated speedy. And I did do a comparison video with the Louis Vuitton Terengia and the Speedy 40. So I can actually link that for you down below as well. But pretty much this concludes this video. Vivi, thank you for the video request. I really and truly hope that in your quest of, you know, researching the Louis Vuitton Terengium that this video was really helpful for you. And if it's in your collection already, um, definitely share a wear update on your video, on your, on your bag as well. Uh, you know that we are all purse lovers. Okay, my friends, don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit the bell button so you can be notified every time I upload a new video, of course. If you have any questions or comments, leave it in the comment box below. I'm Africa Harrigan. Stay beautiful.